Hi everyone, my name is Dana. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I am unboxing, hopefully, a more competition grade tunnel. Um, you may recall in past videos, I have a tunnel already. Unfortunately, that one is more for puppy training, small dogs, and Ammo now tears it out of the ground whenever she runs through it, so it's like a single-use thing. And also, I don't want her to ruin it because I think it's a great way to teach dogs how to do tunnel by starting them off in a less threatening one. So hopefully, this one is more what I'm looking for, and if it isn't, this video won't go out, I'll cry and then return it and try to find a tunnel that is fitting what I'm looking for. Also. I can't help what the sandhill cranes are doing, they're so annoying, um, so you're just going to have to be with them. But with that being said, I'm going to start opening her up. So, this is the tunnel. I'm so excited. This is what I'm talking about. You see, it's not see-through. It's a lot more durable. It did not obviously come with sandbags, but I thought that would be a fun DIY that I could do for a different video. I really try my best to DIY as much as possible, but there are some things that you just can't, like the tunnels, and I'm going to try my best to find a competition-grade teeter-totter as well. Because, yeah, me and my dad could eventually make one, but I just, I don't, like, the competition teeters that I use, they have different heights that you can practice with. You can lock it in so you can just have your dog practice going on it. Um, I don't know, it's a lot, there's a lot more things that make it easier to train on a competition grade teeter-totter. So I'd rather just get one of those, even if they are a little pricey, and then make my own A-frame and dog walk. Um, but I definitely want to have all the stuff necessary here, because then I can give back to my friends as well who've been letting me use their equipment and practice at their houses. Then, even though they have equipment at their houses, they can practice here at my place with like a change of scenery, you know, different distractions and stuff. That's kind of my thinking, at least. But anyways. This is the tunnel. I am so excited to use this. So, <laughs> um, yeah, you'll probably be seeing a lot of agility related videos in the future. So hopefully, you know, that's okay with all you guys. But I've just been on an agility kick. <laughs> it's been so much fun. I DIY'd my first jump and it's awful. Um, but I already thought of ways I can make my next one better. Eventually, I'd rather just use PVC piping, but we have so many scrap wood pieces from our house being built lying around, and I'd rather just put those to use instead of just let them get wasted, I guess. And at least then those wooden jumps will hopefully last me until I get more PVC jumps as well. But anyways, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!